Hi everyone, Adba here. This is going to be my solo run of Ghost of a Chance. It's located in the Three Barrel Cove Explorer area on the top left of the map, or northwest. Anyways, it's like this overpass and then underwater is where the quest entrance is. The current is drawn into an opening in the rock just large enough to wiggle through. This is the heroic through. version, but the epic version is pretty similar. You start underwater, you jump a in, and there's a little ledge on the side where you can buff. You don't have to, like, jump buff inside of the water. The current. Moonlight shines down from an opening above. Okay, so the switch here opens up the way. You must first kill all the monsters in the entrance area before you can open it. The entryway into the pirate's compound rumbles open. This quest is pretty short if you're trying to go for the minimum amount. Basically just open a few doors and a kill a boss and end the quest. A crack in this but wall. I'm going to show all the extra stuff in this quest. Including the puzzle. Who as far as I know is the biggest Suddenly core the clanking of tile puzzle in the intensifies. whole DDL, So Usually people will skip it. I've never been in a party with somebody else who did it. But I'll show you how I do it. And how you can solve it yourself just by using logic, without using like a wiki or something. I think it's very satisfying and fun, so... Anyways, there's, a, there's a hidden switch here, behind the statue. We'll open up a wall in the previous room. There's a side objective here to kill some of these spiders. And there's two such passageways you need to go down and clear out. The shape of a lever pokes through a tangle of webs. The lever here is inside of all these when cobwebs. You pull the lever, this opens you up the way the back of a gate into the entrance the room. Or the room connected to the entrance room. Starting from the beginning area, the water, there's a tunnel that you can swim underneath. There's a hint to it on the map. You'll see there's like a little exit from the room. Tangled webs indicate that you are not alone in this portion of the cave. This is the second passageway with, with the rest of the spiders you need for the objective. The optional objective of clearing out the spiders. Clear the cave of all the spider. A slight breeze slips Again, through the a crack here on the in wall. the wall before you. Now I'm going to go and get this third objective, who is once this gate is opened. In D&D &D, pen and paper, you can only kill a scrag, I believe, with fire or acid. So over here they have something similar. They have a scrag, and you are a low level. So they're going to help you out, just in case you don't have fire. Muskrat, one of the burning logs would make a good club. First of all, you should know this pool of water. You can't go over it, so you can use it to kite him. If you click on the fire, you get inside of your inventory a weapon. It's got command on it, so you can't be stealth with it. Well, not effectively, but it does some minor finer of fire damage so that's what this is so if you're wondering what this thing is here it is i believe this item drops when you log out so don't make a cosmetic of it it's the same it's the same shape as club of the soul of the holy flame you get from the from the delirious tomb if you really want it the spread falls Anyways, that was unrelenting that. assault 
decent objective with an extra chest. Anyways, back on track here. Continue cleaning this area and heading towards the end. The switch over here opens the way to the boss and also towards the room uh, with the traps and the uh, puzzle. Pull this lever over here to open that door. Ferrier calls out to you. Do not touch anything. You One speak wrong move can kill me. Please speak with me first. Now you can either solve this puzzle now or go get a key. What everybody does is go get a key. So that's what I'm going to do first. Technically speaking, once I get the key, I can just finish the quest. But if you solve the puzzle, you get two extra chests, some XP, and mainly it's the satisfaction of completing the biggest puzzle in DDL. So that's what I'm going to be showing. A voice calls out from the back of the room. Please come in. Approaching the boss starts to fight, and will spawn a whole bunch of Warforged archers on top of the boxes behind you. So, if you defeated if you're afraid the to get hit by you might want to run to the other side of the room. Operation. That is, as soon as you start the boss fight, to run around and hide, get blocked by these pillars. This is the chest for completing the boss. The lever over here opens the room and gets you out. And the lock box give you the, gives you the key to open up the gate over there to release the prisoner and finish the quest. But rather than release the prisoner, we're going to do it by doing the puzzle. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. That's it for you. Uh, I understand. But for everybody else who wants to see how I do the puzzle, here we go. First of all, this puzzle is trapped, so if you search, stand by and search, you'll see the ones that have traps. Anything that has a trap, I'm going to spin it so it's no longer connected to the rest of the light, so I can't accidentally activate it. This means that even if I make a mistake and I route the, the light in the wrong direction, it won't accidentally go through a room that's trapped. Then anything who's not trapped, I try to connect it to link it to some other line they'll take it up to the top you might not be able to get the traps from the bottom you have to stand on top and you'll find some runes that are out of your range when you're standing on the bottom so you have to search once at the bottom and at least once on the top and as i said before just route the light so it goes through the runes whichever one on the bottom so it reaches this top area I'm not sure yet where I need the light to go, I just need, I know it needs to go through those runes. I 
again anytime I find a room that's trapped I'm gonna spin it so it's no longer connected to the big line when I'm saying rune I mean these tiles that have the rune shape on them you need to light all of them up to open up the gate and get the prisoner out Just as a reminder, even if you don't have trap skills, you still can be very, very careful and make sure that it's ro routed properly, if you know which ones it is, and do it. But you should definitely look in the wiki and see which ones are trapped. It's always the same ones. Anyways, it's a really fun puzzle. Even if you're doing it completely by watching a guide, still watching the light go through run through all the puzzles and all the puzzle tiles and light them up it's pretty satisfying anyways I'm making sure that these runes are not connected by any chance to anything so I can't accidentally activate them if you do accidentally activate one of them traps start going off inside of the prisoner's cell and blasting him with like fire or acid or whatever it is so if you're quick about it you still can spin one of the tiles and break the flow and you won't die instantaneously so don't give up if you make a mistake none of the fixed runes are trapped and try to figure out how to get light to the untrapped room. I don't know which way to come from it, so I'll deal with it later. Anyways, I've done my rounds and I'm going to start running the light through. See where it takes me and try to manipulate it. As you can see, the light goes from area to area. Now you see it didn't activate this rune on this particular area, so I need to see how I can get light to run through it. Anyways, meanwhile I'm just following the light to the next area. I'm trying to get the light to run first through the room that's on this corner and then to run off to the next area. Basically I'm making sure it takes a detour through the room that I have in this particular area. Here I realized that this wasn't the way. It needs to come down the other side. Yeah, I realized I was doing it wrong, I was coming down the wrong one. <laughs> I was working.
working way too hard for a simple solution. I don't know why the light stopped here, but it was hinting to me that it was going the wrong way. That the light comes down through the rune and goes back up. So I'm going to change my strategy of how the light gets here in the first place. Rather than sending it down this side, I'm going to make it go up that wall. And I'm really just checking the rest of my links. I want to see where everything else goes. Anyways, here's a return to form. Let's get it going. Following it across the ceiling, comes down the other side. This time it goes through in the direction I wanted. Now it's going to go back onto this side, where I set up. Here I realized that this side, the starting side, is also a dead end. It's the ending side. So it must take a detour someplace in the middle to go to the other two sides before it comes all the way back to here. Started, went up the side that I'm on right now, went back to where it started and ended. I need it to first make a detour through the other, the other two, the other two corners. I need to route it through so it gets to the rune on this side. It's already three out of four. Still got one that I have to route. I'm just looking for it now.
here I finally found the room that I'm trying to light up. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this line of light go through this extra room in this area. So I'm just gonna manipulate its route a little bit so it goes through it. That's it. Got all four. I released a prisoner and I was damned. You have freed it took me about a little bit more than 10 minutes. Prison. And I would only recommend this doing if you really like these puzzles, but I think it's really fun. Every time I solo this, usually once on heroic and once an epic, I find it very satisfying. So I recommend you check it out. I don't think you'll regret it if you do it at least once. And even if you don't want to do it by solving it the long way, Still you can do it with the wiki and just set everything up and then let the light run through it. It's still very satisfying. There's not many of these huge... Uh, not many of these huge uh, puzzles in DDO. This is special, so... I recommend checking it out. Anyways, if you got this far into the video, thank you very much, I appreciate it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Anyways, thank you very much. My channel has just reached 2,000 views and 40 subscribers, so thank you very much, everyone.